Hey gang, old Bit Collector here with a Jeff Shop update on the Outrun Arcade project. Um, we talked Wednesday on the Gadget Gangster blog about the three axis accelerometer, and I promised that I would give you a great example of using it in this project today. And so today, what you're looking at is the back side of the steering wheel on the Outrun box. And um, when I opened this up and started playing with the potentiometer, I realized I was getting some really horrible values from the potentiometer. Um, it had a dead zone in the middle. I thought, well, that's nice. I'll just go ahead and replace that with a brand new one, only to find out that the gears are barely holding on. This gear is cracked on the potentiometer, which means if I start to take it apart, I'm going to be in trouble here for gluing and what have you. I noticed other cracks uh, in the gear system. So what I did is decided to go just purely digital. And so what you're looking at here is the, uh, this is the, the gear that would turn the potentiometer. I've got it disconnected and laying off to the side and it will later be removed. And then glued to the top of that gear is a little PCB board uh, with the accelerometer. And as we turn the wheel left or right, it turns this accelerometer left or right. And I'm getting perfect um, x-axis readings uh, for the steering. And what I've done is I've just used some hot glue here to attach it so that if I change my mind later, I want to do something else. It's, uh, it's a semi-permanent installation. It's rugged enough to take quite a pounding. Um, the kids have been beating on this arcade machine all week, uh, and it has hung on without any problems at all. Um, but this was a, uh, basically a $7 solution to a problem that gives me now perfect readings uh, at the propeller for both left and right steering. So I'm just going to turn the steering wheel here a little bit and you'll be able to see that large uh, piece of metal that you see to the one side that's turning is actually a stop so that when you turn the wheel far enough it keeps the wheel from turning further and breaking the hardware. And then when I let go it snaps back to center and as I turn it the other direction you can see that the accelerometer is turning. So a, uh, a perfect solution, um, a great product, would recommend uh, the item to everyone uh, and I'm looking forward to using this in an upcoming project as well. Well we'll see you next week with another update until then spin on!